versus Ray is the only one. Yep. So a lot, there's a lot of Robs. I'm starting to realize around here in SoCal, we got Kira on that Rob. We saw a Rob in the previous one. Now we have Ray is the only one on the Rob as well. And Captain Falcon's definitely a character that people have been talking about. He's like... He's kind of in that realm of like, the lower end of high tier. He did receive a few buffs the last patch, right? Some buffs that are probably much needed. Uh, but definitely just still lacking in that level where we used to see him back in Smash World. But hey, man, sometimes all the character needs is the representation that he might be asking for. And we'll yeah. see what Lightning Crash can do against Reyes. But Reyes here with a pretty deficit lead as I say that Lightning Crash brings him off the stage and he's looking for a solid edge guard. And right now, Falcon, he's like... Here's the thing with Falcon. If you get in, you can do so much work with him, but he just struggles with recovery and getting juggled up because he is a fastballer oh. and a great parry into up smash. Ray is the only one taking the first dog just like that. I mean, Lightning Crash should have definitely saw that coming from a mile away. If Reyes has all the spacing on the corner and you're just running into him with a down air, you're kind of going to give your opponent a little bit more respect that they might do an out of shield option here. I like it. Saves the gyro there at the ledge because he wants to buy enough time to come back in with a probable area or just a normal get up. Yeah, and just needs to use that and there use once more lightning crash. He needs to go for the spike attempt, but unable to find anything so far. These uppies are trying to catch it out because remember, it is a command grab, so it does go right through a shield. Nice, hold shield. Down to the down air. He's, I was going to say, he might have been looking for the confirm into the knee here. Yeah, but that kind of cost him a lot of stage control and option there because look at how much Reyes is definitely taking over. And not just stage control, Rob feeds oh. off of that using the projectiles to his advantage. And Lightning gonna go ahead and look, try to look for an up uh, back here for an edge guard, but unable to find anything. And here comes the whirling arms, Reyes, already with a commanding lead. Nice, down tilt tech chase. Gets the down in here, but Reyes immediately able to go for a jump. Up B, not gonna be it just yet, Reyes, no holding great DI. He's still this, alive. Hey, right, and at this point, Lightning Crash is looking for anything here. He's so desperate, but remember, if once you get into that mentality of the, I need to finish the stock ASAP, that's when big mistakes come in, mm -hmm. and Reyes, as Rob, is able to put it so hard, especially with that back air. Yeah, this is this is not going to be a three stock, though, unfortunately, because he finally gets the up B. A little bit of a little bit of movement coming in right there, but <laughs> Lightning Crash needs to be careful because Rob is vulnerable to getting comboed, right? But Captain Falcon has a hard time getting in. As soon as we're seeing right now, this projectile manipulation coming in from Reyes is starting to hurt the fact that Falcon can't get in and this neutral is quite lackluster. Exactly. The one thing that I do want to see from Lightning Crash understanding the neutral here is that you can jab and then grab the gyro and that's what we see from Reyes. He's trying to go over, but Reyes goes for an anti-air option and that stops Lightning Crash from getting in. If I were Lightning Crash, I would start to slow things down to a walk to the point that I can hold shield against a projectile, grab the gyro, and then start to adapt from there. But unfortunately, the man is pressing forward a little too much, and pressing forward will send you down to the ground. Yeah, you can't throw all buttons, especially in Smash Bros. Oh, no, you can't. And Reyes was just punishing him over and over and over again, any single time. Doing such a great job right there. It's just that projectile manipulation. It's the fact that Falcon struggles with. That's the reason why people are so tentative to place them in that upper bracket of the tier list. Is because that he just completely gets shut down by that. All right, let's go into the next game here. It's going to be a different stage. It's going to be Kalos Pokemon League. And we'll see how things will change. I mean, the one thing about Kalos here is it brings a little bit of a different edge guarding with the platforms on the side. And it's still a buy platform out here. And immediately he's going to get combo lighting. We saw him try to land there with the down air. And that's one of the things the platform's going to do here. And he needs to be really careful. Here comes the drive. He's a little bit vulnerable, and he completely mm. read it out. Reyes. And that was such a good cover because at this point, he set the gyro that if he went for neutral get up. He, 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 exactly. And that's why he set it up. That's why I'm saying Lightning Crash kind of needs to slow things down. Your character is a very aggressive character, but you have to have a little brains instead of just brawn. Yeah, it's like... Uh it's like what S2J with this Falcon on Melee, he's, he's very quick, mm -hmm. but all of his decision making is for a reason, not just because he's throwing it out. Exactly. Like, you need to make sure every button you press must have a purpose in that back air. Exactly. And like chess, every move you make matters. He's able to do so much, and this time he tried to use the gyro. He I, tried to go for the read, but unable to find it. That was really good. That's one thing I do want to see from Lightning Crash, is find a wave punish there, especially when Rob's coming off on the ledge. That was great showing of what he might be looking to get here. 
and but you can't keep throwing it out like mm -hmm. you said earlier. Sure, he almost got it the first time, but he needs to be super careful with that backer. Man, <laughs> so much space from Reyes. That's what I want Lenny Crush to understand. The gyro is there to control the ground so that Reyes can get an anti-air and stop his aerial approaches there, and that's one thing that, or just go for an aerial himself. And he's gonna get juggled up. The aerial does miss this time, and great parry once again, Reyes. Lightning Crush needs to be careful because all of his attempts at these aerials are so well telegraphed mm -hmm. that they're obvious. Yep. And here it comes. He tried to pick up the gyro, but it went away at the, at the wrong moment. So Reyes, once again, forced on the back foot again. Oh. And great usage of it, but it's so stale right now because how many times he's used it. Exactly. And not only that, it's the fact that Rob's weight allows him to surpass that a little bit more. Good tech chase. Even with the gyro, he tries to grab it himself. Unfortunately, misses the opportunity. And here it comes, the side special. Here comes the strings that he's so famous for, including at 62%. But as soon as I say that, Reyes going at it. Now, you see Lightning Crash doing a little bit of dash dancing at the bottom. I mean, <laughs> you can feel yourself, but you got to win the set first. Yep. But I get it, too. He wants to make sure he's moving in and out of that range. He wants to catch Reyes on the landing, probably, to mix them up. That's what usually what you see in dash dancing. Is so movement, basically, footsies to get movement, to get a punish, to stop your, to confuse your opponent that you might be trying to get a whiff punish. Because, like, this ain't Street Fighter or Dragon Ball Fighters. You, that little footsie movement mm -hmm. is not as prevalent as you would see because there's so many jumps and arrow movements you can do. Mm -hmm. But it's still important. Oh. And he tanks right through the gyro as well. So nice. Reyes going for that high recovery and lands him with an aerial. That's what I'm saying, Lightning Crash. I kind of want to see him play a little bit defensive there and try to get used to getting around the gyro. And instead of that, Lightning gets the stock taken. He's and I was oh, so sorry. No, 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 Reyes, this is, we're both going for the same point, in which is that Reyes is just controlling this match, and Lightning Crash, he finds opportunities, but for at what cost? Mm -hmm. And for Lightning Crash, I do like the fact that he is going for a couple of punishes. Like, he, well, we see these footsies game moving in and out to get Reyes here, but unfortunately coming in with a, with a the forward air, just like that, I mean, you have to respect Reyes in the way he's kind of controlling the game. Down air, that, went for, I feel like he short hop. I feel like he fast hauled the knee a little bit too fast. And that's a huge win, but unable to find anything. The end lock was just not enough. And he aims that's for the it, drive. That's, that's it, it. That's it. That is that's it. That's it. And that's going to be 2 0 Reyes over Lightning Crash. Unfortunately, Lightning Crash will just crash and burn. And if you guys have been watching the stream and haven't been able to watch the other stream, uh, Ike Tyson did lose to XX. Unfortunately, it is going to be 2 1. And of course, Mars is, is going to fight Reyes. And of course, uh, the winner of that will go on to fight Exact. It's to move on to top 48. Right now we have MVD.